Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking wavy frame effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to generate our frame. So I've been using Adobe Firefly uh, for this and basically what I put in here is a white plain artboard with dark color border in the middle of the room, ultra modern display gallery. I wanted it to be widescreen. So I made sure that I changed that. And the other options that I've chosen was digital art and art as well. Now, there are a lot of uh, other features you could use in here, but I wasn't gonna play around with much of them. And you can see some of the designs that have been uh, generated. There are some really, really cool ones, um, but the one I, uh, you know, stuck with was this one. So what's cool with Adobe Firefly now is they have this upscale feature, so you don't have to waste credits, you know, just to see what things uh, look like, and you only waste credits on the ones that you are actually going to use. So basically I upscaled this and then I downloaded this and I'm going to take it into Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop and basically this is what we have to get to and I'll show you how I actually did that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new document 3840 by 2160 which is what I want my After Effects composition to be and then I need to drag my image into Photoshop. So there's my image inside of Photoshop. Now I don't like these uh, white you know um, borders over here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically draw a rectangular marquee around that area over there. Hold shift draw another box over there another box over there and another box over there like that and then once i have all of that then i'm going to use the generative fill function to generate the difference cool and then now you have three different designs now these designs are different to the one that i had but you kind of get the same idea the other thing that we need to do here is I'm just going to merge down those two layers. So I'm just gonna merge those layers together. And then what I need to do is, I, again, I need to cut out a box here that will be for my frame. Now, because this is a, a square, all I need to do is just draw a rectangular marquee around the area that I don't want and just press delete make sure you delete the background layer because we don't uh, need that and once you're happy with it you will end up with something like this and all we need to do is save that as a photoshop file and then we'll take it into after effects so here we are in after effects and the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition and i'm just gonna uh, go with a 3840 by 2160 comp uh, 30 fps at a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds just press ok the next thing that we need to do is we need to import our frame. So if you just go file import, cool. So now once you have your frame, the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition and I'm gonna call this uh, stripe. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add a background as a black solid. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click off that background and I'm gonna hit that pen tool. And I'm just going to draw a diagonal line that looks something like that then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to add repeater and i'm going to open up the repeater options i'm going to increase the copies to let's say 120 and now you've got all those diagonal lines which uh, looks pretty cool and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down to the transform properties and i'm going to go to the x value in position and change that to about 330 so there's a bit more space in between and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up or I'm going to add a little bit to the scale setting so if I go to about 102 now you've got these kind of thick and thin lines so now once we have that then the next thing that we can do on this shape layer is add some turbulent displays and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bump up the amount to say 100 and the size to 1000 and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hold option click that stopwatch for evolution and write time times 20 and now if you've done that 
correctly. Now you will have this kind of wavy, warpy kind of effect. And I think that looks pretty cool. So now going back to the rest of the transform effects. Now, if you go and move the position slightly. So now I've got a little bit more of those uh, skinny lines over there. And that just gives it that little bit extra look just so you have that on the side over there. So the other effect that I'll add to this is just a CC vignette. And I'm not gonna go too crazy on this, but I just want it a little bit darker on the sides, just like that. And I think that looks pretty cool. So now we're gonna go back to our main comp. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab the stripe, put it underneath the frame. And now if you scrub through, now you're gonna have all those kind of lines on that frame effect. Now that's obviously way too big, so you can scale that down to however you want and rearrange it to wherever you want. And it sticks into that area over there. So I think that looks pretty cool. But there are a few other things uh, that we can do. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna add some curves in here. And I'm just gonna really bring this down and create a more of a focal point for those uh, waves over there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all those layers. I'm gonna go to layer pre-compose and I'll just move all the attributes in there. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another adjustment layer in here and I'm gonna search for the effect called noise. And I'm just gonna bump up the noise to about 10% and that's looking pretty cool. And the final thing that I added here was a scale in effect over here. So if I press S for scale, hit that stopwatch and then move to the end of the composition and just increase that to let's say 115%. Now it's going to have a scale in effect. So that's pretty much it for this uh, short tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video.